I'm no, buying Cam's no. book haul today. This is part two. This is what we have so far. <laughs> Hi guys. Hello. If you're new here, my name is Amber. This is Camden. This is Camden's video today. This is part two. Mm. Um, today I bought Camden's book haul. So mm -hmm. he's gonna show you his <laughs> book haul today. <laughs> Well, some of it's from the book haul, uh, and then some of it Amber got for me at Target, slash, I don't even know where you got this, probably Barnes. Barnes. But anyways, we love Japan, and that is kind of a, pretty much almost the entire theme here, honestly. <laughs> it's like, but we'll start off here with, we got some... Some Japanese slow, uh, slow, soul, slow. We got Japanese soul <laughs> cooking here. And I mean, I can't wait to cook some of this. Let me find a page with a picture. Oh, that's, that's a bad picture. Let's see here. Oh, here we go. I'm not, I don't even like fish, but I'll make it. Like, that looks delicious. I'll eat it. Yeah. So, but there's all kinds of ramen and, uh, I'm... I've made ramen a whole bunch lately, so I'm definitely going to try out some of those. And we're going to prepare for our trip to Japan that we're planning currently. So. Yay! <laughs> Coming to 2024! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, <laughs> this book, I just kind of picked up and was just like, oh, that's a cool cover. Um, but it's a little, hatred. a little hatred. Yep. Uh, you know, New York Times bestseller, so you know it's you know it's a good one, right? What book doesn't say New York Times bestseller? Books that aren't on the New York bestseller. <laughs> but I just want to read like, just like a couple of sentences from the very first page, and just this is why I picked it up immediately, right? She prized one eye, one eye open, a slit of stabbing, sickening brightness come back she pushed the spit wet dowel out of her mouth with her tongue and croaked the one word she could think of fuck so i was like well this is just like all of the smut that amber reads so <laughs> i'm just uh, i'm gonna pick this up you know i love that though i love when you but, just read the first page and you're like okay so. Well, and but the thing thing is, is on the back, there's nothing on the back of this book that has anything to do with any smut. We're sitting here talking Thank about you. the blood-soaked borders of something like Angoland, and uh, there's a there's a solicitors and investors, and there's people who are dying, and there's slums that are boiling over with rage, and it's like. I don't think that we should just open up with a sex scene here, but I'm here for it. So. This is a graphic novel all around. Mm hmm. And then I got volumes four through four, four, five, seven, and eight because they did not have six of uh, Jujutsu Kaisen because I started that recently and it is super, super good so far. So. I'm going to read some more today, actually. We actually accidentally bought two copies of five. So I'm going to go to a different Barnes and try to find six at some point. What is it about, like, kind of basically so far? Uh, so far, they're at this high school that pretty much teaches, like, this jujitsu, And that, um, I forget exactly, but, uh, like, pretty much the repressed emotions cause like hauntings or something like that and uh, i'm only on, i'm still only on the first book so i'm not even all the way through it but it's super super good so far and um i think in the first like 30 pages there was already like so many people that died i like i lost count at one point so i was like every page someone died pretty much it was i don't know it was wild but really really good or someone got attacked at least and then there was this glob that came through the like he was just on the floor and just like ate someone and it was i don't know page four or five and 
but he doesn't even get introduced and you're just like oh so there's just a glob in this high school that just like may or may not just like pull me into him you know so <laughs> um and then and then i picked out volumes well i'll start with this one i uh the seven deadly sins the original sins because you know the og um and of course that's what inspired the actual series here i have watched the anime and i haven't watched all of it but it's it's super super good from what i've watched and i think i watched like the first uh like equivalent to like the first two seasons i think it was but super super good anime so i was like i know i'm gonna like the, the actual books so yeah we got what what is it one one through Oh, that's right. They didn't even have three. I forgot about that. We forgot that. to look at that one. They didn't even have it at Target. Oh, yeah. yeah. So we wouldn't yeah. have it. But we got one, two, four, and five. So, I mean, I have to read the OG before I start on one. But uh, I, I just love the covers, too. The artwork is so cool for me. Mm -hmm. Like, boom. And then... Boom. Like, I feel like it's cooler than a lot of the other artwork. Like, some of the other mangas. And then boobs. So. <laughs> of course, there has to be some boobs mm -hmm. somewhere. And then there's someone in the boobs, so. Yeah, that's even better. Mm -hmm. Someone trying to get him out of the boobs, too. <laughs> Looks like he's having a good old time in there, so. Um, and then, this is the last thing we, or second to last thing we got at Barnes. Um, we got Jade City. <laughs> and, uh,. I don't remember, but you told me about it. And it's supposed to be good. Yeah, I saw somebody good. recommend it, and we were already kind of looking at it. Like, Cam said it looked good when he saw it before, so I was like, I'm just going to pick it up, and, like, if he picks it up one day and likes it, then we'll get the other one. Yeah, it's like four siblings of a powerful family must prepare for battle, and it looks, I think they, like, lead into... Oh, man. I hate when that happens. I don't know. And this was the good one of the books. Mm-hmm. Oh, my. Jeez. I got, like, pressed in there. It's got decent flop, though. No, mm -hmm. I think it's actually, like... Like, attached I in think there. it is actually attached in there. Oh, wow. Damn. It's okay. You can probably get it yeah. out somehow. Uh, or you can take it to the other ones and see if, you, if they can exchange it. Mm-hmm. Ah, we'll figure it out later. Whatever. But, uh, yeah, it says family is duty, magic is power, and honor is everything. So, you know. It's giving Mulan. It's uh, giving Mulan. It's also the winner of the World Fantasy Award. So, hmm. you know, it's big time. Big leagues right there. It's a big leagues. For all you potential writers out there, that's what you want. The winner of the World of Fantasy. And then we got we got Groot in a onesie because we love we love Groot. He's so cute. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. I and love then him. Another thing is also Japan themed because there's literally Japanese on what Groot is reading. So love it. <clears throat> and then we did a little bit of a Target haul too. Who doesn't love a Target haul? Mm -hmm. um, this. Pokemon box just came out the other day and they actually had it. So, so cute. So, Amber got it for me because she's amazing. So, super excited to open that. And then these I've been looking for actually already. I'm a baseball card collector as well. And uh, this is just the, the new top series that just came out. I can't find it anywhere. And so, we just lucked out and they had a couple of boxes over there. So, Amber got me one as well. Hmm. Woo good morning guys um what day is it today's thursday look at this cute sweatshirt my mom made me it says picky and nice so exciting i love the colors it's so bright and it's very soft like i'm obsessed the, the words are like quite big but like it's a big deal you know so like it's fine anyway i want to show you guys what i got from barnes yesterday First of all, I got this cute tote. 
I didn't even know like what I was looking at first. It says, um, once you can read anything, you can learn everything. Sorry, I like couldn't read for a second. <laughs> but I saw it like while I was literally checking out and I hurried up and grabbed it and I was like, I'm not even gonna like let myself think about it because I want one so bad. Um, because they have like the regular Barnes totes that are like the square. Um, but I wanted just like a classic one and it was just so cute and I didn't even realize it was from Where the Crawdads Sing. I just saw the drawings and I was like, it's giving Where the Crawdads Sing and Hannah was like, that's where it's from. And I was like, oh, okay. So I loved it regardless, but definitely go pick this up if your Barnes has it, it's so cute. And then I got a different edition of A Darker Shade of Magic since I gave the newer edition to Hannah. Um, this cover to me is, it's just better. Like the original is better. The other one's really cool. Don't get me wrong, but I think this one's just nicer. Um, and more like simple looking. So I got that. And then I got house, um, the house in the Cerulean Sea. Look at the pages. Oh my God. They're so pretty. Like every publisher needs to do this from now on because of how it just really convinces you to buy it. Anyway, sorry, my windows are open, so I don't know. Um, anyway, this one honestly sounds really good. Um, I'm not even going to try to explain it, but it sounds like I would like this one. I have the other one, the Under the Whispering Door. Yeah, so I want to read both of them, like, soon. I feel like this one's going to be a little bit more, like, lighthearted, so I might end up picking this one up first. Um, but I have a feeling the other one's going to be really good as well. So I got those, and then I got... A couple manga for or got like three manga for Kim and then I got I think that was it yeah surprisingly that was it and now we're about to sit down and keep reading tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow um, I decided to start it yesterday because I really wanted something just like deeper and like something I would really have to like I don't know that would just like hit me you know and I have been annotating for a real one already like I've really been writing in her so and I'm like barely in I've only read like one chapter um so I'm excited to keep going and we're literally about to just sit here and try to get a good chunk through this thing because I have a feeling it's going to take me forever to read it because of how I've looked up like five words that I did not know already so I hope this book at least makes me smarter but I'm loving the like gaming and like how they talk about like programming and stuff. I told Cam, cause he's gonna be like a coding programmer or whatever you wanna call it, cause I can't describe it. Um, I was like, baby, you have to read this. So I'm definitely gonna, I'm just gonna like annotate everything and then just give him my copy and then he can read all my annotations. But yeah, so that's what we're about to sit down and read. <sighs> it feels nice to be back home. But yeah, we're just gonna be lazy. I'm gonna put on some Harry Potter ambiance per usual and we're gonna get right into this thing but so far i really like it i it's it's interesting but i don't know it's definitely different guys look at how freaking adorable she's being right now she's laying on my kindle in my little reading chair but like look she's like a cute little book kitty yeah are you the star of the show now <laughs> she's so cute stop it hello oh my gosh i'm so tired i only have 70 pages left sorry there's children playing outside they're quite loud um it's summer break <laughs> but um it got really good like it started moving a lot faster so i got a good like over 100 pages in today and it got really sad. I'm just going to warn you, it gets really sad. Um, but yeah, so there's not much left. I might read some more when I get home from work tonight. Excuse me. But I'm definitely finishing this tomorrow. It's definitely like just, I don't even know. It's like kind of slow in a way, but it's not. Like it's easy to read. Like you know how sometimes you'll be reading a book and like, it's all the world building and like fantasy and sometimes you're just like this is so boring it's like not like that like there's nothing being like holy shit like shit's happening i mean i did get a little bit of that like recently in the past like i don't know like 50 pages but 
It's strange. I don't know. Like, it's not keeping me on the edge of my seat, but it's also not boring, and it's also not hard to read. But it's, like, thought-provoking. So, yeah. I don't know. But I really like it. So, if you've been thinking about reading this book, it's... That. It's, it's that. So, I think I'll get ready for work, because I have to close tonight. Sad. Good morning, guys. Am I literally sitting on my knees? <laughs> with my phone on my nightstand yes because i need a tripod <laughs> subscribe turn on the notifications um so i just finished tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow it was so good like it was so good i my only thing is i'm like i don't know if i can rate it five stars total because it's like not at all what i usually enjoy so it's like I, I don't even know how to rate it because I can't even like compare it to anything else that I've read. But it, it's also just like such a work of art that I'm like, this deserves five stars, you know what I mean? So I'll get back to you on the rating, but it's definitely between like a four and five. I don't know, but it was beautiful. If you have read this, you, if you know, you know. Yeah. Um yeah I don't know and it's just like I kind of like the way it ended like you were satisfied but also not like overly satisfied like it leaves a lot to like ponder you know what I mean so but I'm so glad I finished this I really needed like something different and that's exactly what this gave me so if you're the same way and you're like oh my god I've read so many romances they all sound the same right now or it's just like not you know it's just not getting the claws into you and you're like, oh, I need something different. This one. Mm -hmm. It was so good. So good. Especially if you love video games. Uh, and it was just so, like, so, like, highlightable. I can't tell you how much, like, I was annotating through this book. Um, I will say, like, kind of at the end, I was, like, just kind of enjoying the wrap-up of the experience. Um, but it was, it was so good. It was really so good. We're probably going to give it a five stars. But now that we've read that, I think we're ready for a romance now. Um, so I decided I want to pick up When in Rome because it's just like, I feel like it's going to be really short and sweet and really cute. And I even got the little tabbies to match and my little markers. Like, look how cute that is. That's adorable. Um, so that's what I'm going to pick up when I get back home. But I'm about to go get my nails done. I honestly would love to get like this color. It'd be cute. Good morning. I'm in my little cozy chair. I'm reading when in Rome. I'm only on page like 70 something. I'm reading kind of slow. I don't know why. Um, but I'm liking it so far. It's just a little cute romance, you know. Um, but I was sitting here. And this book, this giant ass book just came flying off the top of my shelf up there. I had it like you know, face it out a little bit, like my fourth one is, and it just came flying down, just crashed on the floor, and it obviously made a loud thud, because it's freaking huge, and I was like, oh my god, like that, I mean, it couldn't have hit me, because where it is, but it scared me so bad, and I was like, is this a sign, like, are you trying to tell me to read you right now, because like, dang, <laughs> I do really want to read it, but I'm trying to wait, because I really prefer to just read that one, and the second one and then like right before the third one comes out so I'm really trying to save it for like December so that way I can at least like have it pretty fresh in my brain I might start it in November we'll see but yeah I don't know I, I would love to read it right now but I just I just love to binge I yeah anyways this is good so far the nails are such a vibe look at that did I even show you guys I literally got my nails to match my book, which is so, like, I, I told you that I would get them to match, but, like, I didn't think they would match this good. It's so cute. And then, look, my tabs even are a vibe, too. So, yeah. I'm gonna go to the pool later, I think, but for now, I'm just being really lazy and just reading. Anyway, I finished When in Rome. It was really cute. It really was. I loved it it really does feel like gilmore girls vibes like just like small town and it was so cute um but now i just don't know 
what I want to read. Like, I really don't know what I want to read. Okay, I love Amelia, but I think I like Annie better. I think I like her better. I think we just, like, get each other more. I love Amelia. Like, nobody could ever be her. But Annie is just so cute, and I can tell that I think this one's gonna be even better than when in Rome. I wasn't sure about it at first, but, like, I already love how just, like, funny it is. The other one was super funny, too. Like, let me just say that Sarah Adams makes really fun rom-coms, because, like, I feel like sometimes I have to remind myself, like, what, what I'm reading. Like, if I wasn't reading a rom-com or like in that headspace i would be like the hell um but i feel like sometimes you just have to like remind yourself what it is you're reading for it to like hit good you know oh my god i already sound sick that's great um but i love her so much already she's got anxiety same girl and um sorry my kind of feel like shit um She's got anxiety, but, like, she's so, like, bubbly, and, like, she's so funny, and I just love her, like, she's dear to me, um, but, yeah, anyway, I, I just wanted to tell you that, I'm on page 18, um, but I'm gonna try to update you as it goes, I guess, I don't know, um, but you should definitely read this series if you love Gilmore Girls, Small Town, Romance Vibes, Rom-Com Vibes, it's super cute, super funny, and you're just, like, rooting for them the whole time, and, yeah. All I'm gonna say is Grumpy Bodyguard and a really sweet flower shop owner. I mean, come on. Hello! I just got back from the pool, and I finished this this morning. I literally had, like, ten pages left when we went to the pool at, like, noon, and I finished it right away. I just started it last night. I got like 50 pages in. Still felt really shitty. I still feel like eh, but I woke up feeling way better than I did last night. I just needed sleep. So like I only got 50 pages in and then I let myself go to bed. And then I woke up this morning and I just read for like four hours straight. And yeah, it's done. I honestly kind of liked this one better than the first one. Which I think is just because I like Annie so much and I like relate to her and I love her like quirkiness and like the banter I think was just another level than When in Rome. I really liked When in Rome though like for the characters I really like you just can't beat Amelia and Noah. Um, but I think it's just because they're both like so different you know. Like they're the OG but like Annie and Will are just they're just a whole other they're just a whole other thing. Um, but overall, I really, really liked this. I, like I said last night, sometimes you just have to, like, remind yourself that you're reading a rom-com. Um, because I read Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow before I started these. And it was, like, going from, like, really heavy and, like, deep to, like, not at all heavy and not at all deep. Um, but I really enjoyed these. These were just so lighthearted, so fun. Um, I did pick up book lovers and I literally only read like 20 pages I'm not sure how I feel about it yet because you know it just like takes a little bit to get into um but I think I'm gonna hold off until I finish Serpent in the Wings of Night because I'm already like farther into that one and I actually went ahead and ordered the physical copy of the first and the second one even though they're on Kindle Unlimited I just have a really hard time finishing Kindle Unlimited books. I don't know why. I just don't feel as much pressure to finish them. So I ordered the physical copy, especially because I feel like I really like it. And when I really like a book, I really would prefer to have it physically because then I want to add it and like be able to look at it. Why not? I mean, what's, what's the point otherwise? So really enjoyed this and went in Rome. So if you've been thinking about reading them, reading them definitely give it a go. Perfect for summer. And yeah, so now I'm just going to sit here, maybe read on my Kindle, but maybe not. I might just like let my brain rest for the next 30 minutes and then I need to get ready for work. So sad, but hopefully we make lots of money. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I don't know if this will actually be the outro or not, but we're just doing it in case because 
I probably won't be back on here until Monday because tomorrow's Father's Day, but I also work all day. So I probably won't be reading again until Monday because um, there's just no time in the day for it tomorrow. I might read tomorrow morning just like right before work, but literally for like two hours. So we'll see. But I hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for watching.